Welcome back. Some of you will know this laptop pretty well. This is my 760XL, uh, IBM ThinkPad uh, 760XL. I've had this laptop for a couple of years now, and uh, it was one of my favorite laptops of all time for a lot of reasons. And look, at, look back in my video logs to see why. But I wanted to do something that I don't think I've done before. Um, I want to rip a CD using a vintage computer, using vintage software. So I'm going to be using some software that I actually used in 2001 that I downloaded this very, I downloaded this very program in 2001. Um, it's called FreeRip MP3. And you could probably still get a copy of this um, if you know where to look online. And uh, it has, it's ad supported, so there's some really old ads built into it for stuff that doesn't exist anymore, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, but we're going to rip this uh, particular CD. This is a copy of Phil Collins' uh, Face Value album. It's a great album, by the way. And uh, I thought it would be neat to rip a copy onto this laptop. Now, inside here we've got our 20x CD-ROM drive option installed. And for those of you who uh, are aficionados of this particular generation of ThinkPad, I just picked this up. Now this was actually in a in a parts laptop that I bought a couple months ago. Um, it's an external floppy drive uh, case for the 760 series. This is a very expensive option, I believe, at the time. And you just slide this open, and you can insert your floppy drive in there. It's kind of handy. Um, this had a drive in it that was defective. It, it just, when you plugged it in, it would hum. Which reminds me of a Frank Zappa song. We're going to load our CD in the drive. Okay, we're going to close Winamp, and we're going to open up Free Rip MP3. Turn the volume down a little bit. So what this does is it shows us a list of tracks. So we're going to put a title in here. We're going to call this um, Face Value. This is going to automatically populate the meta tags. Artist, Phil Collins, who was hilariously lampooned in an episode of South Park many years ago. Phil Collins! <laughs> uh, year, 1981. Category. I think it's more of a just. Oh, look at all these categories: acid jazz, acid punk, alt rock, alternative. Let's call it rock. Just good old fashioned rock. There we go. And I think we can name the tracks at this point too, if we want to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. The so track one. I'm going to just go through and name these. I'll read them off. In the air tonight. Track two. This must be love. Track three. Behind the lines. Track four. It's amazing going from a, a modern day MacBook keyboard to this. Um, this keyboard has a lot of travel to it. When I was um, in school, I preferred this keyboard over all others because it just had a very good feel to it. But then again, you know. But I'm actually liking my MacBook keyboard, believe it or not. The roof is leaking. Bad for a seven thousand dollar computer. Um, droned is track number five, number six, hand in hand, number seven. I missed again, number eight. You know what I mean. I missed again. The shift key? I missed the shift key. Yeah, the joke. 
Not a good one. Um, track 09, Thunder and Lightning. When I first started downloading um, MP3s from, you know, what was I using? Was I, I was using um, Napster, actually, back then. And that was right around the time I owned one of these laptops. And that's how I discovered Kraftwerk. Kraftwerk was a British, British, and a German uh, techno band, techno rock pop band from uh, the early 70s. And they're still around. And, uh, yeah, I, I discovered their music while I was downloading stuff from, uh, from Napster on my IBM 760 <laughs> in 2001. I'm Not Moving is number 10. It's a great album, by the way. If Leaving Me is Easy. Nowadays, the software will automatically queue the um, CDDB database for track information and populate it. And I believe this software does it for you as well, but that it no longer links to a valid database anymore. So. Um, yeah, it's, there's a query CDDB option right here. That's what this button is for, but it doesn't do anything anymore. Tomorrow, never news. There's one M in tomorrow. Okay, so now that we've named all of our tracks, we're going to rip them. Oh, we got to select the tracks we want to rip. So that would be all of them. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There we go. And off we go. Ripping CDs the old-fashioned way. Just like Grandpa used to do. Is that the creepiest cover or what? <laughs> anyway. It takes a while. It's definitely not a process that you, you know, it doesn't do it in five minutes. It takes forever. And we're just going to let it fly. And I'm going to speed up the footage so you don't have to wait through it all. Bitch!